Good morning. This is Mission Control Houston. We are live in the International Space Station Flight Control Room as we continue our coverage of SpaceX's 29th commercial resupply mission for NASA to the International Space Station. On your screen, you can see live views of the SpaceX Dragon spacecraft as it approaches the station. Uh, SpaceX updated its burn plan following a debris avoidance maneuver yesterday, moving the expected docking time about 10 minutes earlier to 4.10 a.m. Central Time, 5.10 a.m. Eastern Time. During the debris avoidance maneuver yesterday, the space station's Progress 85 thrusters fired for 5 minutes and 16 seconds as a precautionary measure to add distance from a fragment of a Russian SL-16 rocket body launched in 1992. The flight control team received a late notification of a repeating conjunction with this object following station's uh, avoidance on, or station's re reboost on Thursday that could have resulted in the object passing within a range of 12 miles to six tenths of a mile from the station during four consecutive orbits on Friday. NASA and Roscosmos ballistics officials coordinated the debris avoidance maneuver and the crew was notified and was never in any danger. The maneuver increased the station's altitude at an apogee by 1.1 miles. The Dragon spacecraft, which you're seeing on your, on your screen now, uh, launched atop a Falcon 9 rocket from Launch Complex 39A at NASA's Kennedy Space Station. Kennedy Space Center in Florida on Thursday, November 9th at 7.29 p.m. Central Time, 8.28 p.m. Eastern Time. The Dragon spacecraft will dock autonomously to the forward-facing port of the station's Harmony module and spend about one month attached to station before returning to Earth, delivering approximately 6,500 pounds of cargo to crew. The NASA flight control team here in Mission Control Houston and the SpaceX team in Hawthorne, California entered into integrated operations a short time ago and also pulled go for the approach initiation or AI burn, which is executed at approximately 2.38 a.m. Central Time, 3.38 a.m. Eastern Time. The approach initiation burn lasts for about a minute and a half to begin bringing the spacecraft up and under the station. Coming up in about 17 minutes, there will be an AI mid-course burn, which will help fine-tune Dragon's path following the approach initiation burn on its way to waypoint zero. Waypoint zero is a point approximately 400 meters below the station, and if everything on Dragon and the station looks good, the vehicle will continue through waypoint zero and on to waypoint one.
During today's rendezvous and docking operations, the Dragon spacecraft will go through a number of burns and milestones. It already completed the uh, approach initiation burn, which is the first in a series of milestones that it will pass through. Um, that approach initiation burn lasts about 90 seconds, and it starts to bring Dragon up and under the space station before it moves through those key checkpoints, including crossing the approach ellipsoid and the keep-out sphere. Following the AI burn, there's a mid-course burn, and that is coming up in about 13 minutes, and that fine-tunes the path following the AI burn on its way to waypoint zero. Waypoint zero is a position approximately 400 meters directly below the station, and the vehicle won't pause at waypoint zero, but continue on its path, continue on its path to the docking port. Docking port. Waypoint zero is inside the approach ellipsoid, but outside the keep out sphere. Both of those are imaginary shapes centered on the space station. The approach ellipsoid is a three dimensional ellipsoid measuring four kilometers by two kilometers by two kilometers in the same family as the keep out sphere. Vehicles outside the approach ellipsoid have to be on what we call a 24 hour safe free drift trajectory, which means the spacecraft would not cross into the approach ellipsoid for at least 24 hours, even if it lost all maneuvering. After we cross waypoint zero, it'll continue on to waypoint one. Waypoint one is a spot approximately 220 meters directly in front of the space station, and it places Dragon on the docking axis, which is directly in front of the docking port. Um, and a reminder, Dragon will be docking to the forward facing port of the station's Harmony module today. Similar to waypoint zero, if everything looks good, Dragon will move through waypoint one, cross the keep out sphere on its way to waypoint two. Waypoint 2 is the final stop for Dragon before docking, and it's just 20 meters in front of the station. It'll pause here for about a minute before closing in for contact and capture, just to make sure everything is good with the vehicle and with station before proceeding on. After we proceed from waypoint 2, we'll reach contact and capture with the station. During this process, the capture ring on Dragon will interact with the international docking adapter on the node 2 forward port of station to get the initial capture. Dragon then has 12 hooks, two sets of six, that will start to engage for a hard capture. After there is a hard capture confirmed between Dragon and station, there will be a vacuum tight seal, which is called the vestibule. This will then begin to be pressurized to match the same pressure as the station. They'll periodically pause during this process, checking for leak checks. Um, and then once it is pressurized, the crew will begin to open the hatches on both the station and Dragon side. And later today, they'll start some uh, cargo operations to unload the cargo that was launched on Dragon. There will also be a couple of umbilicals deployed, and this is to allow Dragon to get power and data from the station. And this will move Dragon into what's known as acquiescent mode, which essentially means Dragon will become an integrated piece of the station once it's docked. Reach the station on Swiss Ground 2 for trash or stowage. Go ahead on 2. Hey, uh, as I was working here at the um, lab, Deck 1, Deck 2 area with the rodent habitats, um, I noticed this mesh bag that has um, the old Sevis cycling shoes. So when we installed Teal Sevis, we switched to new cycling shoes. 
and we temp sewed our old Seaver cycling shoes in this mesh bag. Can we trash these now? Copy your question, Andy. We'll check and get back to you. Just to clarify, I think I already trashed my uh, set of old Seaver cycling shoes, so this mesh bag just contains Laurels, Jaws, and Satoshis. Copy that. You just heard some conversation between ESA astronaut Andy Mogensen, who's currently aboard the space station working through his day. Um, once we get a little bit closer to docking, uh, two of the space station astronauts, NASA astronauts Jasmine Mogbelli and Laurel O'Hara, will be monitoring the Dragon Cargo spacecraft from inside the space station during its approach and docking. They act as an additional person, person in the loop, just in case they need to take control of the vehicle at any time. Currently on board the space station, we have the Expedition 70 crew, which began on September 27th of this year. And that includes NASA astronauts Jasmine Mogbelli and Laurel O'Hara, ESA or European Space Agency astronaut Andreas Mogensen, JAXA astronaut Satoshi Furukawa, and Roscosmos cons cosmonauts Konstantin Borisov, Oleg Konenko, and Nikolai Chub. On your screen, you can we continue to see views of Dragon as it approaches the station. It's currently about 2,700 meters away from station and closing in, and we're about six minutes from the AI mid-course burn. From this view, you can see uh, the nose cone deployed a little bit above the circular part of Dragon. There's also a flashing light, which serves as a visual aid for the spacecraft and kind of gives a visual reference of, of where it is in relation to station. <coughs> Housed under the nose cone um, are some of the Draco thrusters and also Dragon's guidance, navigation, and control sensors. Dragon has some GPS units, and um, it also has a Dragon Eye system, which uses LIDAR, which is basically laser range finding sensors to determine range and range rate from station. Um, and this LIDAR system is used during rendezvous and docking operations. The SpaceX Dragon spacecraft is delivering more than 6,500 pounds of scientific research, crew supplies, and hardware to the orbiting laboratory. 
Some of the research being delivered includes work to understand interactions between weather on Earth and space and also laser communications. One of those experiments is the integrated laser communications relay demonstration low Earth orbit user modem and amplifier terminal or Illumina T, which aims to test high rate high data rate laser communications from the space station to Earth. This demonstration will complete NASA's first two-way end-to-end laser relay system by sending high-resolution data to the agency's laser communications relay demonstration, which launched in December 2021. Another experiment that launched is NASA's Atmospheric Waves Experiment, which will study atmospheric gravity waves, um, powerful waves formed by weather disturbances on Earth, such as strong thunderstorms or brewing hurricanes, to better understand the flow of energy through Earth's upper atmosphere in space. We are now just under three minutes away from the AI mid-course burn and about 2,000 meters away from the space station. Again, the AI mid-course burn will fine-tune the path following the AI burn that was completed a short time ago on the spacecraft's way to waypoint zero. Waypoint zero is a position approximately 400 meters directly below station. Following the AI mid-course burn, we will hear a go-no-go -go pole to approach waypoint zero. This gives the go-ahead to move past waypoint zero and on to waypoint one, which is a spot approximately 220 meters directly in front of the space station. The AI mid-course burn is now in progress. The, this burn is going to fine-tune the path uh, for Dragon as it continues to make its way to waypoint zero. Right now, Dragon is about 1,500 meters away from the space station, and that waypoint zero will be approximately 400 meters below station.
AI mid-course burn was just completed and it was nominal. Dragon is now just under 1400 meters away from the space station and closing in on it. The SpaceX Dragon spacecraft is delivering more than 6,500 pounds of scientific research, crew supplies, and hardware to the space station today. Um, in addition to the science experiments that it's delivering, it's delivering some hardware, one of which is an air quality monitor intended to improve the air analysis aboard the space station. They're also delivering a spare stationary bike CVIS, which is a cycle ergometer with vibration isolation and stabilization system. And it's one of the exercise equipment used on station by the crew. Um, it's also delivering some components to maintain proper calibration and operation of the flame and combustion integrated racks gas system. And of course, delivering some food to, this, to the crew, um, including some holiday treats for the upcoming holidays, such as chocolate, pumpkin spice, cappuccino, rice cake, turkey, duck, and more. On your screen, you can see views of both the SpaceX Mission Control Room in Hawthorne, California, and Mission Control Houston here at the Johnson Space Center. The teams inter entered integrated operations a short time ago as we began the as we began the rendezvous and docking operations. Coming up shortly, those teams will be pulling go no go for the approaching waypoint zero. Here in the room in Mission Control Houston, we have Flight Director Brandon Lloyd. Lloyd was part of NASA's 2021 class of flight directors, and he goes by the call sign Adagio Flight. Station Houston on two for Cargo Dragon. On two. Just two things. Uh, one, reminder on window shutters, and two, the Dragon range is approximately 1,000 meters. Monitor the long range approach for steps one to four. In procedure 1.102, Dragon approach and retreat monitoring. Copy, and I've got Dragon in sight, and is the timing on the cupola shutters different than before? Affirmative. It's 10 minutes earlier than uh, the plan indicated. Okay, Captain. You just heard some conversation between NASA astronaut Jasmine Mogbelli, who's currently aboard the space station, and she will be monitoring the Dragon cargo spacecraft from inside the station, along with NASA astronaut Laurel O'Hara during its approach and docking today. During those conversations between the space station crew um, and the teams here on the ground, the voice you hear from the ground is the CAPCOM or capsule communicator. Today, the CAPCOM is Jay Marshke, and the CAPCOM just serves as the voice link between teams on the ground and the station crew. Dragon is now 
within a thousand meters of the space station and closing in. And the teams just pulled go to proceed through waypoint zero. As a reminder, waypoint zero is a position 400 meters directly below station. And the, the vehicle won't pause at this point, but will continue on its path to the docking port. Waypoint zero is inside the approach ellipsoid, but outside the keep out sphere. Both the approach ellipsoid and keep out sphere are imaginary shapes that surround the space station. The approach ellipsoid is a three dimensional ellipsoid measuring four kilometers by two kilometers by two kilometers. Um, and it basically is on what we call a 24 hour safe free drift trajectory, which means the spacecraft would not cross into the approach ellipsoid for at least 24 hours, even if the vehicle lost all maneuvering. The keep out sphere is an imaginary 200 meter sphere centered on the space station. After approach initiation, all US free, free flyer vehicle burns must provide a four orbit safe free drift trajectory without entering the keep out sphere. So once we reach that 400 meter point for waypoint zero, we will be inside the approach ellipsoid, but still outside of the keep out sphere. Currently on your screen, you can see a pretty good view of the Dragon spacecraft as it makes its way to the station. It is now about 600 meters away from the space station and closing in, and then it'll reach waypoint zero in about 10 minutes, and we're still scheduled for a docking at approximately 4.10 a.m. Central Time, 5.10 a.m. Eastern Time.
from this view, you can see the nose, co nose cone on Dragon. The nose cone um, houses both some Draco thrusters and also Dragon's guidance, navigation, and control sensors. You can see a red light, and it also has a green light, which isn't visible currently, but those two lights show the port and starboard side of the spacecraft, helping to give a visual reference of where it is. And the flashing light that you're seeing in the center also provides another visual aid. The Dragon spacecraft is now within 500 meters of the space station and closing in and just under six minutes away from reaching that waypoint zero. Waypoint zero is a position 400 meters directly below station. The vehicle isn't going to pause at waypoint zero but continue on its path to the docking port.
dragon is now about three minutes away from reaching waypoint zero and it is uh, 436 meters away from the space station. Waypoint zero is a point 400 meters directly below the station and it's not going to pause at waypoint zero but it's going to continue on its path to the docking port. Following waypoint zero, it will reach waypoint one, which is a spot approximately 220 meters directly in front of the space station, which places Dragon on the docking access directly in front of the docking port. As a reminder, Dragon is docking to the forward facing port of the station's harmony module today. And similar to waypoint zero, if everything looks good, Dragon will move through waypoint one and cross the keep out sphere on its way to waypoint two. Once it reaches waypoint two, this is its final stop, just 20 meters in front of the station before we proceed in for contact and capture. The vehicle will pause at waypoint two for approximately a minute to confirm everything is good on the station and the Dragon side before closing in. Houston from station, we see the transition to docking access range is 400 meters and attitude looks good. Houston copies. The Dragon spacecraft is now within 400 meters of the space station, crossing that waypoint zero mark. It's now going to continue on to waypoint one, which is a spot approximately 220 meters directly in front of the station. And this will place Dragon on its docking axis directly in front of the docking port. Just before it reaches waypoint one, there will be a go no go pole to approach waypoint two. So this will give them the go ahead to continue on through waypoint two 
on it or through waypoint one on its way to waypoint two. From this view currently on your screen, on the left-hand side, you can see the space station from Dragon's cameras as it is approaching the, sta approaching the station. Dragon is currently 378 meters away from station and closing in. The Dragon spacecraft, which is currently in its rendezvous and docking operations today, launched atop a Falcon 9 rocket from Launch Complex 39A at NASA's Kennedy Space Center in Florida on Thursday, November 9th at 7.28 p.m. Central Time, 8.28 p.m. Eastern Time. Earlier today, the NASA Flight Control Team here in Mission Control Houston and the SpaceX team in Hawthorne, California entered into integrated operations. They pulled go for the approach initiation or AI burn, which was executed at approximately 2.38 a.m. Central Time, 3.38 a.m. Eastern Time. The approach initiation burn lasted for about a minute and a half to bring the spacecraft up and under the station. Following the AI burn, there was an AI mid-course burn, which basically fine-tuned the path for Dragon following the AI burn on its way to waypoint zero. Most recently, the Dragon spacecraft uh, crossed waypoint zero on its way to station, entering inside the 400 meter range. Now we are standing by for a go, no-go pull to approach waypoint two. As the Dragon makes its way to waypoint one, this go no go pull will be the final go no go for docking um, and give the go ahead to move through waypoint one on the way, way to waypoint two. Once Dragon reaches waypoint two, it'll pause there for about a minute before closing in uh, for contact and capture, just to make sure everything is still good on the Dragon and station side before completing today's operations. Currently on your screen, you can see a graphic that shows the space station and where different vehicles are currently uh, docked. Uh, on the left-hand side of your screen, you can see where the space 
uh, SpaceX Cargo Dragon is going to dock today. As a reminder, docking is currently expected at approximately 4.10 a.m. Central Time, 5.10 a.m. Eastern Time. And it'll be docking autonomously to the forward-facing port of the station's Harmony module. The vehicle is going to spend about one month attached to the station before returning to Earth, delivering approximately 6,500 pounds of cargo. Currently on your screen, you can see a trajectory map of the space station and where it's currently flying. The space station and Dragon are currently flying over the North Pacific Ocean. Uh, the Dragon vehicle is closing in on the space station during today's docking operations, and it's about 330 meters away. The next milestone it'll reach is Waypoint 1. Uh, Waypoint 1 is a position uh, just about 220 meters directly in front of the space station, which will place Dragon on the docking axis, J directly in front of the docking port. Dragon is going to be docking to the forward-facing port of the station's Harmony module today. Houston Station, range is going through 330, attitude still looks good, and we just got the docking camera view. Houston copies, excellent. You just heard a call down from NASA astronaut Jasmine Mogbelli, who's currently aboard the space station. 
Uh, NASA astronauts Jasmine Mobili and Laurel O'Hara are currently monitoring the Dragon Cargo spacecraft from inside the station during its approach and docking. They act as an additional personnel loop in case we need to take control of the vehicle. In addition to NASA astronauts Jasmine Mobili and Laurel O'Hara, we have the Expedition 70 crew aboard the space station, which began on September 27th of this year. We have European Space Agency or ESA astronaut Andreas Mogensen, JAXA astronaut Satoshi Furukawa, Roscosmos cosmonauts Konstantin Borisov, Oleg Kononenko, and Nikolai Chub. Currently on your screen, you can see a few views. Um, we have the SpaceX Mission Control Team in Hawthorne, California, as well as the Mission Control Team here in Houston. Those teams in entered integrated operations a short time ago for today's uh, docking operations. You can also see on the right hand of your screen a current view from station looking down on the SpaceX Dragon for the CRS-29 mission. You see a few lights coming from Dragon. There's a red light and a green light and those show the port and starboard side of this spacecraft, giving a visual reference of it. And then there's also a flashing light in the middle, um, which serves as another visual aid. The SpaceX Dragon spacecraft will be joining a handful of other visiting vehicles currently docked to the International Space Station, including the Crew-7 Dragon, the Cygnus-19 spacecraft, the Soyuz MS-24 spacecraft, and the Progress-84 and Progress-85 resupply ships. The Crew-7 uh, spacecraft brought Jasmine Mogbelli, Andreas Mogensen, Satoshi Furukawa, and Konstantin Borisov to the space station in August of this year. And then the Soyuz MS-24 spacecraft brought uh, Laurel O'Hara to the space station in September of this year. The Dragon spacecraft is now within 320 meters away from the space station and less than 10 minutes away from reaching waypoint one. Station Houston on two. Jaws Houston is go for Dragon to approach to 20 meters. Copy. You just heard the CAPCOM or capsule communicator here in the room, Jay Marsh K, uh, call up to NASA astronaut Jasmine Mogbelli, who's currently on the space station, letting them know that the teams have pulled go to approach waypoint two. This will allow the vehicle to move through waypoint one and on to waypoint two. Once the vehicle reach it reaches waypoint two, which is a, the final stop, just 20 meters in front of the station, it'll pause at that point for about a minute before closing in for contact and capture.
You are currently seeing a live view of the International Space Station Flight Control Room here in Houston, Texas. Leading the team today is Flight Director Brandon Lloyd. Uh, Lloyd was part of NASA's 2021 class of flight directors and he goes by this call sign of Adagio Flight. To Lloyd's right, we also have the capsule communicator or CAPCOM for today, Jay Marshke. Uh, the CAPCOM serves as the voice link between teams on the ground and the station crew. So his voice is who you hear uh, going up and interacting with the crew on the space station. The Dragon vehicle is now within 300 meters of the space station and closing in. Houston station range is 298. Attitude still looks good and SSC 11 ran into a problem and is restarting. Copy. In Houston, when the SSC comes back up, do we need to do anything to reconfigure the DDM view, or um, do you all take care of that? We will take care of it, Jaws. Okay, copy, thanks. Jaws, change of plans. We'd like to send you to the lab to the alternate setup. Happy, move into lab. Houston Station on Space to Ground 2, from the lab, the SSC-22 currently is not flagged in as a robo. Jaws, repeat again what's going on with SSC-22. It's it's logged out, so it and it's locked as robo, but we'll try to get it set up. Copy. And Jay on SSC nine, which is supposed to have the dragon docking monitor, it says no video. Copy that, Jaws. We're going to reroute the video.
You just heard some conversation between NASA astronaut Jasmine Mogbelli and the CAPCOM or capsule communicator here on the ground. Uh, you may have heard them talking about SSCs. Uh, SSC stands for the spa Station Support Computers, and there's a handful of those aboard the station. And Houston from station, SSC-22 is now logged in, if you're able to pull up the ISS camera view on that one. Copy, we'll route video to it. Copy, thanks. In addition to the conversation about SSCs between NASA astronaut Jasmine Nobelli and the team here on the ground, uh, you heard them talking about routing video. Um, so the Cronus flight controller and mission control, which is the communications radio frequency onboard network utilization specialization. We see vehicle mode has now transitioned to approach to a line point and just so in 215 meters. Copy. The space station video uh, just entered into a brief loss of signal. We'll get signal back in just a minute, and that happens when the uh, signal is transferring between different satellites. The Dragon spacecraft is now within 200 meters of the space station closing in on that waypoint one spot. The SpaceX Mission Control Team in Hawthorne, California, and the NASA Mission Control Team here in Houston are going to pull Go No Go for docking um, a short time from now. The vehicle continues to close in on the space station and is about 186 meters away, and it's on its way to Waypoint 2. Waypoint 2 will be a final stop for the vehicle, and it's just 20 meters in front of the space station. The vehicle will pause at Waypoint 2 for about a minute before closing in for contact and capture. As we approach contact and capture, and just before that, you will hear the call CHOP, which is crew hands off point, and it's basically telling crew to not to send any commands at that point. And then once we reach the contact and capture point, um, a capture ring on Dragon will interact with the International Docking, Ab Docking Adapter, or IDA, on node 2 forward port of the station to get the initial capture. Dragon's 12 hooks, which are two sets of six hooks, will then engage for a hard capture. Once we have that hard capture and the hooks are engaged, there will be a vacuum tight seal between Dragon and the station called the vestibule. Uh, the vehicle will then be pressurized to match the same pressure as station, and they'll pause periodically for some leak checks during that process. And then once it's pressurized, the crew will begin or will be able to open the hatch on the station side and also on the Dragon side and begin operations to unload cargo later today. Additionally, there will be a couple of umbilicals that will be deployed so that power and data from the station can get to Dragon, and this will move. Station on station ground two, we are ready for docking. Copy that, Juz. Do you have the video that you need? We see they're pulling up the ISS view, but our VM still shows no video.
Currently on your screen, you can see the space station from cameras on Dragon as it's approaching. And then on the right hand side, you can see uh, cameras from space station pointed at Dragon as it's approaching at the space station. The vehicle is currently about 113 meters away from space station and will reach waypoint two in about five minutes. Houston Station on Space to Ground 2 coming through 100 meters. We still do not have the ISS camera view or the Dragon docking monitor. Copy that, JAWS. You should have the ISS view. We are still routing the Dragon docking view. Uh, realize we're approaching waypoint 2, and if we need to hold there, we will. Okay, the, uh, we still don't have the ISS view, but I can see if they're working it. Copy. You just heard NASA astronaut Jasmine Mogbelli called down from the space station. Uh, NASA astronaut Jasmine Mogbelli and Laurel O'Hare are currently monitoring the Dragon cargo spacecraft from inside the station during its approach and docking. And they, they act as an additional person in the loop in case we need to take control of the vehicle. There was some chatter about her getting views of the space station and also um, the docking monitors. Uh, the Cronus or Communication Radio Frequency Onboard Network Utilization Specialist here in Mission Control Houston manages the transfer of data um, and routes those videos on station. And Houston, uh, range is now coming through 60 meters. We just got the DDM view back. We still do not have the ISS view. Copy. We're still working it. Jaws, question for you. For the rules, we are go with center line camera only. Is the crew okay with that? Yeah, you're firm. Copy.
You can see a view of the Dragon spacecraft as it closes in on the space station, and it's just about 22 meters away, so it's really close to reaching that Waypoint 2 spot. Station Houston at Waypoint 2, Dragon will hold for a few minutes, and we'll let you know when we're ready to resume approach. Okay, station copy, and we see it coming up on 20 meters now. vehicle has reached waypoint two and it's going to pause here for a few moments before it closes in for contact and capture. This is just to make sure everything is still good on the Dragon side and the space station side before we uh, close in and complete the docking operations. Just before docking, you'll hear the call CHOP, which is crew hands off point, and this basically tells the crew not to send any commands at that point. And station we see hold. Copy that. You just heard confirmation that the vehicle is currently holding at that waypoint two position, and this is the final stop just 20 meters in front of the space station. Dragon is on final approach and is go for docking. Monitor per steps five and six in 1.102. Happy go uh, for docking and box five and six. Good copy and for Satoshi, he can abort his monitoring activity. MLM looks good. You just heard that we have a go to finish uh, docking. It'll begin its final approach. During the capture and contact, uh, the capture ring on Dragon will interact with the international docking adapter on the node 2 forward point port of station uh, to get the initial capture. Dragon's Two sets of 12 hooks, or 12 total hooks, will then engage for a hard capture. Once we have that hard capture, there will be a vacuum-tight seal between Dragon and the station, which is called the vestibule. This will be then be pressurized to match the, sta the, the same pressure as station. And then once pressurized, the crew will be able to open the hatches and begin operations later today to unload the cargo. There will also be a couple of umbilicals deployed to get power and data from station to Dragon, which will move Dragon into what's known as the acquiescent mode, essentially becoming an integrated piece of station once it's docked. Dragon is now within 16 meters of station and closing in. Uh, from station, range is 15 meters, attitude looks good, and it's in the corridor. Houston copies. Dragon is now about 10 meters away from the space station. Houston station, 10 meters. Corridor looks good, attitude looks good. Houston copies.
the vehicle is now about five meters away from the space station, and shortly you will hear the call chop. Five meters, same report. Which is crew hands off point. Meters, tap. Copy. Dragon contact and soft capture complete. Update. Just heard confirmation of soft capture at 4.07 a.m. Central Time, 5.07 a.m. Eastern Time over Central Brazil. During the soft capture phase, the capture ring on Dragon is interacting with the international docking adapter on the node 2 forward port of station to get that initial capture. Dragon's 12 hooks will then engage for a hard capture. Ring retraction in progress. Copy. Hey, Houston, we've started the five-minute timer. Copy. The Dragon spacecraft for the for SpaceX's 29th commercial resupply mission for NASA to the International Space Station docked just about four minutes ago 
at 4.07 a.m. Central Time, 5.07 a.m. Eastern Time as the Space Station and Dragon were flying over Central Brazil. During this soft capture, the capture ring on Dragon interacted with the International Docking Adapter. And now we're standing by for the 12 hooks on Dragon to engage with Station for a hard capture. Once we have that hard capture, there will be... Retraction is complete. Docking sequence is holding for MCS reconfiguration. Station copies. Once we have that hard capture and the 12 hooks engaged, there will be a vacuum tight seal between Dragon and the station, which is called the vestibule. This will then be pressurized to match the same pressure as station. And then once pressurized, the crew will begin to open the hatches on the station and Dragon side to begin cargo unloading operations later today. There will also be a couple of umbilicals deployed to get power and data from the station to Dragon. This will move Dragon into what's known as acquiescent mode, essentially becoming an integrated piece of station once it's stocked. MCS is configured, proceeding with hook driving. Copy. Just heard confirmation that they're going to begin the hook driving. As a reminder, Dragon has 12 hooks, which are two sets of so six hooks. During that process, the hooks will engage with station for a hard capture. The first set of six hooks on Dragon have closed, and then the second set of six are now driving. Once all 12 hooks are engaged, we'll have hard capture.
Houston Station for Dragon Monitoring. Um, does that conclude um, our activity and are we good to close the PCS pages? Checking. Jaws, we got a couple more minutes before hard capture is complete, so you can depart the uh, monitoring arena there, but leave the pages configured, please. Okay, copy. We just heard a confirmation that the hard capture is complete. Hard capture complete. We see it. Good news. Agreed. Congrats. You go for the two next two activities on Laurel's timeline. Okay, copy. And congrats and thank you to the SpaceX 20. We're excited for both our science and uh, everything else that is in the vehicle. Copy that. Excited for science and other things. Following a launch on Thursday, November 9th at 7.28 p.m. Central Time, 8.28 p.m. Eastern Time, and a nearly 33-hour transit, the SpaceX Dragon cargo spacecraft for NASA's CRS-29 mission safely arrived at the International Space Station this morning at 4.07 a.m. Central Time, 5.07 a.m. Eastern Time, as the space station was traveling over central Brazil. The Expedition 70 crew currently on board the space station will begin unpacking the approximately 6,500 pounds of scientific research, crew supplies, and hardware that was recently delivered. The spacecraft will then stay docked to the orbiting laboratory for about one month before splashing down off the coast of Florida and returning critical science and hardware to teams on Earth. Again, thank you for joining us this morning as we followed the rendezvous and docking of the Dragon cargo spacecraft for SpaceX's 29th commercial resupply mission for NASA to the International Space Station. This is Mission Control Houston.